Who's popping? Who's dropping? I'll leave that up to my pal Justin Bourne as the Stanley Cup playoffs roll on. The Islanders now one win away from the semifinal. And the only thing more elite than Dan Feeney's mullet sporting beer chugging ways on the island is Matt Barzal. It's like he's growing up before our eyes, Justin. Yeah, no, it's a, it's been a delight to, for Islanders fans to watch. The first round was a little concerning, right? You want your big guns going in the playoffs, but uh, you know, he only had three points there this round two. He has looked incredible. You know, the Bruins challenge you and they test you physically. He's been unfazed. He keeps taking the puck to the net um, and just piling up the points here. He's got uh, three goals in the second round, really taken over offensively for the Islanders. And you know, they need a guy to do that. And he's, he's risen to the challenge. How underrated do you think Barzal is? I don't know. I feel like people know that he like dangles through the neutral zone and they see like the clips of him and they think he's fast. I don't think they know how competitive he is, how feisty, how, you know, the, uh, I guess a physical game doesn't make him back down. And, and I think that this is sort of bringing that to everyone's attention. Well, so when he signed for 21 million, expect, expectations are going to be there. So, you know, he's going to have to rise to those. He seems to be so far. Right. As for the drop-in, I'm going to caution you on this one, Justin, because last time you said it was Tyler to Foley and he took that personally, ousting the Jets and Blake Wheeler, a non-factor. So we're dropping him today. Yeah, the good news is Blake Wheeler can't, uh, you know, step in and make me look bad next round. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a tough series for Wheeler. You know, he's at a point in his career where every time it doesn't go well for a while, you go, is it over for him? Is he in decline or is it just a bad stretch of games? Either way, uh, zero goals, zero assists for a team that didn't have Shifley and needed someone to step up offensively. You know, the team only had two forward score goals. Uh, he just, they needed more from their captain. That was just uh, unfortunate that, you know, he was one of the reasons it seemed like the Jets weren't able to rise to the challenge. So uh, I like the guy, I like the player, but uh, this wasn't his round. So unfortunately, he gets our what's dropping this this week. Would you contribute some of his struggles to the fact that he didn't have Shifley alongside him? Yeah, for sure. You know, he, he, they worked so well in tandem and there is a, a big element to that, but it, it just doesn't matter in playoffs. You know, everyone has their excuses and just no one wants to hear them. So uh, no, wh whatever happens, you need to be able to rise above it. Uh, he was held, uh, dealt a tough hand, but uh, I don't think he played, played it overly well either. Couldn't agree more. And Winnipeg Jets fans certainly don't want to hear any more excuses. Another disappointing playoff exit, but Montreal is so hot right now as they continue. Thanks a lot, Justin. Yeah, thanks, Danielle.